What exactly is the rapture? The first will be a secret rapture, or the carrying away of the saved to heaven, at the start of a seven-year tribulation period during which the Antichrist will appear. The second phase occurs at the end of the tribulation period, when Jesus returns to earth in triumph and glory. Hey guys, welcome back to Rapture Revealed. In today's video, we are going to talk about what exactly is rapture, and when the rapture happens in September 2022. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. The Bible and the Rapture Jesus promised to return to earth and take his followers with him. Do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me, he said. There are many mansions in my father's house. If this were not the case, I would have told you. I'm going to get you a seat, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will return and receive you to myself, so that where I am, you may also be. Did Jesus intend to return secretly and rapture his people from earth? Leaving those who are missing to wonder where their raptured friends and relatives have gone? This is the belief of those who believe in the rapture. In these verses, Jesus does not specify whether he will return secretly or publicly. However, other Bible passages make it clear what will happen when Jesus returns. The Bible teaches us that the day of the Lord will come unexpectedly, like a thief in the night, which is relative to the topic of the rapture of the church. It teaches us that in the blink of an eye, those who have died and will be raised to live forever, and at the same time, those of us who are still alive will also be transformed. This indicates to me that when Jesus Christ returns to rapture his church away, it will be a sudden and unexpected event in the sense that many people will be going about their day-to-day -day business. Many people will be immersed in their day-to-day -day activities, people will be enjoying the entertainment of this world, and then suddenly many people will be caught off guard when their master returns. And it's not like we haven't been given ample warnings. There is no mention of, Behold, I am approaching quickly, in verse 12 of chapter 22, and this is what is required of us by their scriptures, as well as what Jesus commanded that we should do. Therefore, keep vigil, because you do not know what day your Lord will come. But know this, if the master of the house had known what hour of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Similarly, you must be prepared, because the Son of Man will come at an unexpected hour. The Apostle Paul restates these commands by describing what will take place when Jesus returns. He tells us in the first Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16 to 17 that the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of God's trumpet, and that the dead in Christ will rise first, and we who are alive and who are left will be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always, this passage of scripture, which can be found in the fourth chapter of 1 Thessalonians, explains us how we ought to be preparing for the return of Christ. However, the question that we should be asking ourselves today is, how can we be sure that the return of Christ is drawing near? What are the telltale signs that we need to look out for? How are we to determine when it is appropriate to start preparing? And what exactly does it mean to start preparing? Paul cautions us to be on the lookout for a figure known as the Antichrist, who will come to prominence in the end times. According to verses 3 and 4 of chapter 2 of 2 Thessalonians, you should not let anyone deceive you in any way, because that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first, and the man of lawlessness also known as the son of destruction, who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God or object of worship, so that he can take his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God, is revealed. On the other hand, the Lord cautioned us against putting our faith in anyone who proclaims themselves to be the Messiah or the Christ. The Lord wants us to understand that we should not wait for signs before getting ready, but rather that we should be ready at all times. This is the point that he is making here. We are to conduct our lives as if Jesus' return were imminent. It is much more appealing to me to be taken up into the clouds with Christ than to be taken up into the world. Is Jesus' second coming a mystery? Another Bible passage makes it abundantly clear that Jesus will not return in secret. Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye, even those who pierced him, will see him. This text states that when Jesus returns, everyone on earth will see him. That doesn't sound like he's sneaking up on you. According to Matthew, 
Jesus' return will be as visible as lightning flashing from one end of the sky to the other. For as lightning strikes from the east and flashes westward, so will the coming of the Son of Man be. According to the Bible, Jesus will appear in glory with the angels. See Matthew 16, 27. He will appear with the shout of the archangel and a blast from God's trumpet. See 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17. The wicked will see him approaching and cry out for the rocks and mountains to fall on them and hide them from his face. See Revelation 6, 14 to 17. And he will return as king of kings, leading armies of heavenly angels. See Revelation 19, 11 to 16. All of these texts made it abundantly clear that Jesus' arrival is anything but secret. Will Jesus arrive as a thief in the night? The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, the Bible says, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and its works will be burned up. But does this mean that he will come in secret and take the saved while leaving the wicked behind? No. The same text that says Jesus will appear as a thief in the night also says the heavens will pass away with a great noise. That won't be kept a secret. So what does it mean for Jesus to appear in the middle of the night? But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief, says the Apostle Paul. You are all sons of the sun and sons of the light. We are not of the night or of the dark. As a result, let us not sleep as others do, but rather watch and be alert. Those who are not watching and waiting for Jesus will be surprised by his arrival. It will strike them as a thief in the night. His people, however, who are not of the night or of darkness, will be looking for him. They will be aware of the signs of his coming and will realize it is approaching. The appearance of Jesus will not surprise them like the unexpected appearance of a thief. That's what the Bible means when it says Jesus' return will be like a thief in the night, unexpected by those who aren't looking for him. The Lord's day arrives as a thief in the night. Both 2 Peter 3.10 and 1 Thessalonians 5.2 refer to the day of the Lord coming as a thief rather than the night of the Lord coming as a thief. This completely alters the verse's meaning. In fact, the sentence's subject is day, and the phrase modifying the subject is of the Lord. Christians are to keep an eye out and be prepared for the Lord's day, which will come unexpectedly. But once it arrives, it will not be hidden. It will be very clear when Jesus returns. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.